<coughs> strength, holding back, resisting communication, resisting your feelings, withdrawing. You're holding back from someone, Libra. Definitely. Or this is someone who's holding back from you, okay? Someone's trying to resist this connection, but they have a lot of passion for you. Let's see. On your mind is the nine of pentacles. <coughs> so either you're very focused on your independence, focused on your financial um, stability, security, or you're just wanting to be single or feeling single in this relationship, okay? I'm getting you feel single in this relationship. On their mind is the ace of swords here. So there is some kind of clarity or communication that is coming in from this person, okay? This is what they want. They want the truth. They want a breakthrough in this relationship because it looks like right now with the strength here, you're both holding back. You're not letting this person go, Libra, with the death and divorce here. Things have ended between you guys, but you refuse to let this end, okay? You're not. You're, you're having a hard time letting this person go. Four of Wands, this is someone who wants something long-term with you, okay? Marriage, commitment. They want this harmony back, okay? They want to restore harmony back into this relationship, this connection. But definitely someone who wants this happiness with you. They, this is a very celebratory energy, right? But they want this reunion, okay? This could be a twin flame that you're dealing with, but four of wands is also a reunion of twin flames, okay? However, mutual energy, you're both emotionally shut off, okay? Could be one is shut off more than the other, but some are somewhat the same, okay? You're both emotionally shut off. There's a lot of sadness and depression, of course, right? Because we have the strength here, which is holding back. Why is the strength here as the overall energy for Libra? Why is it the current situation? My bad. Why is the current situation the strength here for Libra? <coughs> Wow. Wow. So strength here. Okay. Now it looks like there is someone here who's who's going to take a lot of courage. It's going to take a lot of inner strength, courage, and that big, bold move that someone's going to make. Finally, you know, mustering all their courage up and their strength to come towards you to make things right. Okay. And they want a brand new passionate beginning with you because there is a lot of love here. Okay. So strength is that card of that uh, compassion, right? But this is someone who's wanting to put in that inner strength, okay? they could This could be someone who is doubting themselves constantly, okay? They were lacking their inner strength, you know, to make things happen, but they're finally doing it. Because with the Two of Cups here, there is someone here who's wanting to offer you a relationship, okay? Because attack, attraction, the passion, okay? It's so strong here. And strength is like someone who will do anything and everything to tame the situation. That's what's coming in for you. Remember, this is a predictable reading, okay? So if this, is ha if this hasn't happened, it will be happening. Nine of Pentacles. Why is this on Libra's mind? Nine of Pentacles. Looks like because you don't want to let this relationship go at the same time, but you do feel very single and lonely probably, okay? Yeah, see, you both want the same thing. What the fuck? They have the four of wands, two of pentacles, and the eight of cups in reverse here. But with the nine of pentacles here, it looks like, okay. Now, that's a little complicated. Let's see. There is a decision that you've made. Okay, Libra, you have, okay? You probably are someone who likes to be single, who's probably wanting to run away from commitment, okay? You don't believe in it. Eight of Cups in reverse, you do want to get back to this person. You could have tried to walk away from this person, okay? But And you could be juggling this decision, this idea of wanting to get back to them. But there is a decision made. You're coming back to this person. And with the Four of Wands, you do want this with them, okay? And with the Nine of Pentacles here, I feel you still want to... Um, there is this feeling of wanting to be single, okay? But I guess that's all changing. That's what I'm getting. It's all changing here. You finally realize you could have walked away because you couldn't uh, probably offer this person something stable, something committed. But that realization is there, okay? You've stopped chuckling the idea and you're coming back. But with the nine of pentacles here, probably you're, it's just that your focus is more on your money, your goals, your uh, business, your money, your finances is what I'm saying. Okay, that's the only thing. Otherwise, the emotions are there on your side. Why is the eight of, ace of swords here on this person's mind? Mm. They want to open up emotionally. <clears throat> they want to open up emotionally. Ten of swords in reverse, page of cups, and nine of wands in reverse. This person is letting their guards down. Okay. They want to. They want a breakthrough. All right. They're looking 
to come towards you and apologize or at least they want to communicate with you okay this is emotional communication because things ended badly between you guys okay but this person wants a recovery okay they want to get this relationship back from the brink of failure okay this is a resurrection that they want they're thinking a lot about you and they have a lot of love for you okay but um the amount of love they show you is very little i feel this person was more guarded okay they were very guarded towards you because they could have um because of their past experiences right they could have done uh, they could have been very beaten wounded you know like that wounded warrior very exhausted or someone who's just had so many bad experiences in the past when it comes to relationships that they felt the need to guard themselves away from you okay but now they're letting their guards down why the death in reverse here? why is this in libra's feelings Page of Wands at the bottom of the deck. You want to take a new path, a new direction with this person here. You're not gonna let this person go. I feel this is the Cross Watcher. I feel this is Libra. Of course, the energies can be interchangeable. All right. They don't wanna let you go, Libra. They want forward movement with you. They're very determined in wanting that success with you. Okay. With the Queen of Cups here, there's a lot of love. Okay, that this person has. And with the Hierophant here, this person is definitely thinking this is a very spiritual connection. They have a lot of faith. Okay, and this person definitely now wants commitment with you. Yeah, I feel I'm reading for the Cross Watcher. Regardless, I'm just gonna read it as Libra. Okay, so Libra, now you want all this with them. Okay, everything that this person wanted because of which they felt backstab and betrayed. Right. You want everything with them now, okay? Because with the Queen of Cups here, you have a lot of love for this person. You're trusting your intuition and your guidance, okay? And even if this person ended things with you, you're like, oh no, baby, you went going nowhere. And that's why you're coming in with the soft eye here, okay? With the Two of Cups. You wanted to make things right. Have a way. You're not both opening up emotionally. Because they want the same thing with you, but I guess you were the one who was not ready to give it to them. Tell me about the Four of Wands. Tell me about the four of wands. Why is the four of wands here? Hmm. So you really, really make this person very, very happy. Okay, Libra. This this person with the four of wands here, nine of cups here. This is an emotional, fulfilling relationship. Okay, you're like a wish come true for them. But right now, with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse here, either they think that you're not focused on them. Okay. Or this is someone who's very focused on their career, their goals, their money, etc. So earlier, that's what you did. Now, this is what they're doing. And with the hermit in reverse here, this person's too isolated, okay? Or there's just a lot of confusion. They just don't know what to do with you. Because the intention is there of wanting something stable with you, okay? But they're just trying to numb the pain of whatever they went through. Because the Ten of Swords is a very painful energy, okay? They're trying to heal themselves from that. They're trying to heal, okay? They do think about you a lot. Yeah, because with the Ace of Swords here, this could also be someone who wants closure, all right? Ace of Swords can be clarity, breakthrough, closure, whatever, right? But there is some kind of clarity that they want. They want to communicate, okay? And they want you to, they, they want to know what's really going on. But I feel this is you, Libra, who's coming towards them offering this, okay? Because you're the one who was probably commitment for, okay? Because the decision was on your side to make this. And uh, that's what I'm saying. This person is very focused right now on their money goals, trying to numb the pain, trying to distract themselves, okay? That's what the hermit in reverse does. Try to distract themselves from day-to-day -day activities, okay? So they don't feel the pain. They don't have to think about what they went through. But with the nine of cups here, I also feel their focus on their happiness, okay? Why is the ace of cups in reverse here? Why is the ace of cups in reverse? This is a mutual energy. Yeah, see, Queen and King of Cups, you're both so much in love. That's why the Two of Cups here. So this is a very spiritual connection. This is a very divine couple, okay? Both are waiting for the right time, okay? You both want positivity. You both want growth and expansion in this connection, okay? But you're both waiting for the right time here, okay? And that's something, and um, with the Ten of Wands, that waiting period is getting, is becoming like a big burden for both of you, okay? At least for one of you more. The Ten of Wands is a lot of burden, right? A lot of stress. This emotionally withdrawing from each other. It's becoming too much for you, both of you, okay? It's becoming a very big burden. But the love is there, for sure. King of Cups, you could be dealing with someone who loves you very, very much, okay? But they're not the best at expressing their emotions. Tell me about the actions. What action will Libra take to 
What action will Libra take towards this person? What action will this person take towards Libra? And what is the likely outcome? Oh la la, Ten of Swords, damn. Okay, relax, relax. Ten of Swords does not always have to be an ending of a relationship. The Ten of Swords can also be an ending to overthinking, overanalyzing, someone who feels they're a martyr, someone who feels they're always playing the victim. This is over-exaggeration. Okay, don't worry. This is putting an end to the drama. That's what I feel. Four of Swords is the kind of action that you're going to take towards this person. No action, right? Well, that's also a kind of an action, right? Four of Swords. Clarify the Four of Swords. Clarify the Four of Swords, please. Lovely. With the Six of Swords, it looks like you're wanting to move away from this person or at least you want to move to... No, I think you want to move towards this person, right? Because with the Lovers here... You realize this is a very strong soul tie, soulmate connection, okay? You love them a lot and you realize that. You cannot break away from this connection, okay? Because it's too strong here. Maybe even want something very passionate, something intimate with this person here, okay? But the lovers here is a very strong connection. However, however, with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse here, you are kind of fed up of moving towards this person, okay? Because you are someone who is very, very slow moving when it comes to this connection i feel you're very overburdened right now okay 10 of wands your mutual energy there is something that's there's a lot of stress around you and that's why you're probably choosing not to do not to take any action towards this person right now okay but with the six of swords here either you're trying to create some mental distance between you both mental physical distance okay or you're just trying to be on your own because there's too much you are, you're very focused on your inner goals okay i feel you're very very loaded with a lot of other responsibilities that you need to take care of but you have woken up to this relationship to this connection that you have with this person okay it's all on your mind in your intentions okay but in your actions for right now i think you're trying to heal and rest and recuperate okay from some kind of overload that you're going through or you just have a lot on your plate right now you want to move towards this person for sure, okay? You want to move towards this person. Why is the Queen of Pentacles in this person's mind? Why is this the action they'll take? Wow. The Magician, the Eight of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords here. <clears throat> this person is definitely manifesting a new opportunity with you, okay? They're manifesting a new beginning with you. With the Eight of Pentacles here, I feel this person is ready to put in their 100%, okay? Okay? But with the Seven of Swords here is what I feel. I feel they're trying to dodge, um, not dodge a bullet, but I feel, you know, they're not doing it the right way. I think they're strategizing. Yeah, yeah, actually, they're strategizing. They're not going to make a very honest approach towards you when it comes in, okay? They're going to try and say things, move around the bush, you know, beat around the bush, etc. But when it really, really comes to doing the action, right, they're, they're probably going to sneak in back into your life is what I'm getting, okay? Because with the Magician and Eight of Pentacles here, oh yeah, this is someone who's in full-blown manifestation mode, okay? They are. Once you realize this connection, you have a lot of love for this person, okay? You cannot let them go. Okay, you feel this is very spiritual, right? You're trusting your intuition. You want forward movement. But for right now, it looks like you're wanting to move away. Okay, because you're very focused on your own goals, right? You could be a little exhausted. Yeah, because the Knight of Pentacles is someone who's anyways very slow moving. Okay, but at the same time, this could be someone who's very focused on their goals or has just too much on their plate. Okay, you need a break. You probably overdo your career, your goals, your business. What is the stand of Swords here? Why is this a likely outcome? Nine of Pentacles, Four of Cups, and Seven of Pentacles in reverse. This came out before also. There is a lack of disappointment here, okay? There is this emotional dissatisfaction and a lack of disappointment here. Someone's finally, someone's choosing to be single, I feel, with the Nine of Pentacles here. Because they are not getting the offer that they want. Okay? Or this is someone who's just feeling rejected. Four of Cups is uh, the energy of uh, emotional dissatisfaction, right? Someone constantly breadcrumbing also probably. But I do feel with the seven of pentacles in reverse, just someone's giving up too fast. Okay, someone's getting very frustrated with the delays. I feel this is this person here. I feel this is this person here with the seven of swords here. They want things with you, but they're just being very sneaky right now. Okay, so this person could be trying to block you or, you know, if you try to talk to them, right, they wouldn't talk to you. Because look, you're not making a move towards them, right? Nine of pentacles in reverse is stagnant movement, right? Not being able to move forward. <laughs> this person's getting very frustrated, okay? And probably they will just land up ending things with you. 
you know, because they are very focused on their goals. They're focused on their independence. They're focused on, focus on themselves, realizing their worth, their value. Now with the four of cups, this person is just bored. They're bored waiting for you to make that move towards them. Okay. And because you're not making it, they're going to give up. They're just going to think it's a situation which was a waste. You know, it was a waste of time and um, they invested in this for nothing. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, they're very bored because you're just not ready to make a move forward. No matter how much of realization you have that this is the one for you. Okay. Again, I'm getting probably four of swords. You're resting, healing. I think you're taking a time out. Okay. You don't feel it's the right time to talk to this person. You want to move towards them. Okay. But that action, that movement is not there from you. Okay. That's what I have for you, Libra. I hope this reading resonates with you. Leave your comments below. Do like, share, subscribe if this resonates. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.